Hi, my name is Velasquez, and I'm here to introduce my first installment of Apex Breakdown, where I go over one of my most recent gameplays and try to explain my thought process and decision making along the way. Both the good and the bad choices that I made. I think the most effective way to get better at something that you love, that's competitive, whether or not you're an athlete or a gamer, is to go back into film and take an objective look on what you could have done better as an individual and as a better teammate. I hope you can enjoy and learn a thing or two along the way with me, and don't forget to check out my other socials, especially Twitch. I plan to start streaming every weekend at noon. So my teammate just hit a scan here so we know that there's a Watson and one other teammate here. Make some noise to try to alert them somewhere else as I go for this door. And then I notice they both see me so I have to get behind cover so that I don't get shot at. And then I get a few shots on the Watson and then reposition because I don't want them to both focus me. I drop down here, try to get a different angle. I'm able to finish off the Octane, pop a battery. So now it's my teammate's turn to come in and see if he can get some damage down. Coming up on this next fight here, I notice my teammate wants to go towards the center of this house, so I'm going to go ahead and take a right and play this rock so we can get crossfire on this guy. So we're both able to get some shots off on him and take him out together. And now I want to pop a battery, but someone's too close. So I need to just rely on my gun skill to try to get some damage on this guy while my teammate heals up. And if I wasn't able to finish him there, it would have been okay because my teammate was ready to come in and help. So my teammate and I were just not on the same page on this play. He went for the bounce and I went for poor positioning. There's always something you can do better as a player. It's not always your teammate's fault. Here I did my best to try to reposition and jiggle peek my opponent as I pop this battery because I need to prepare for potential 2v1 that I just put myself in. Right here is when I start to get third partied, my health is low so I just have to back down. I can't risk staying up there and maybe getting one sell off as I try to avoid getting shot by both teams. 
So I get a Thermite ready, because I know I need to get him weak if I stand a chance fighting him. Do a little maneuver here, try to stay out of sight, and I'm able to finish him off with the bolt. And now I have to outrun the storm and try to heal up. Rings not that far. Since I got the better trade between me and that Bangalore, I wanted to move in for the kill on him to prevent his teammate from coming in. But I accidentally slide into a new team and I have no choice but to just try to put some damage on him to get him to back off. And it works out in my favor. So now I'm able to get some space for myself and pop a battery. This is about where you can see the gears turning. I saw the Wraith portal and I knew who that belonged to and I was able to get some good damage off on him. So I go ahead and rush in headstrong and think I can win this 2v1 when chances are they're going to position better. The moral of the story here, don't get greedy and sacrifice positioning for a couple more kills.